What's up, everybody? This is your pal, Music. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Chat, the show where I basically talk about anything I want. Gaming, movies, TV, or whatever I want to talk about. Ah, uh, Today's episode, I am really excited because I am going to be talking about two Resident Evil games. Um, one I just finished, and the second one I am going through at the moment. So, guys, let's get this started, shall we? So the first Resident Evil game I want to talk about is a game that I made a video about games I've never played or I played a little bit of and this game was actually in this list and that is Resident Evil 4. Now, weird thing about Resident Evil 4 is I have never played it too much. I played, probably played about 10-15 minutes and that's about it. Like I have the Wii version and the PS2 version right here. And the weird thing to say is, I've never played too much of it. But then when the Xbox One version was going to come out, I was like, I'm waiting for a disc version. I don't like playing, picking up like digital versions. If you guys don't know, I'm more into picking up discs, for me like discs versions, like the ones here. Then picking up like digital versions where, you know, it's just on the screen. But, like for Christmas and all that, Resident Evil 4 was one of the gifts I opened up. I think it was kind of like one of the first ones I opened up first. And I was kind of, I was kind of surprised, you know. I didn't expect to get Resident Evil 4. However, when I finally cracked the seal and actually played it, I want to regret not playing it when I actually should play it, because Resident Evil 4 is a damn good game. I recently finished this uh, on Monday, just until the new Resident Evil comes out on Tuesday, and I was blown away with this game. And you know what, I have to say, overall, I played this and I finished it in just over 18 hours. Like, I'm going to show you guys a screenshot right now to show you it is actually 18 hours the entire playthrough. So, roll it. 18 hours for Resident Evil 4 is quite a long time, but I want to see the actual story. I want to play it to the end. And it was well worth playing it. And you know what? You know, with all the weapons, you know, every weapon I've used, or s majority of using them, you know, the story was was actually really good. Playing as Leon S. Kennedy, that was superb as well. His voice acting was good. You know, the bosses were incredible. The monsters' designs were incredible. I think to myself that if I had a problem with Resident Evil 4, is that there's only a couple glitches here and there. And one thing was the sniping reloading times. Like, you know, it was choppy as hell. But, at the end, Resident Evil 4 is such a good game. And even that, if you finish the game, you get to unlock, like, mercenaries, all the Aegis missions and all that. And just a few things here and there. And I think you get to unlock some extra stuff, like infinite ammo for your grenade launcher. And I think you unlock a new gun or whatever. So literally, that's quite cool. And yeah, I never played this game, I finally finished it, and I really enjoyed it. I think from start to finish, I love this game to bits. So, if I would give this game out of 10, I would honestly give this game probably a 9 to a 9.3. Reasons because of, you know, the, the reloading times, like, the reload times for the, for the sniper rifle, frame rate dips, glitches are here and there, and the loading times were a little bit slow, I've got to be honest. But, at the end, Resident Evil 4 is such a fantastic game. If you've never played Resident Evil 4, recommend it. It's like 20 quid. And get it on this version because it's well worth it. Such a fantastic game. So the final Resident Evil game I want to talk about is actually a game that actually just came out this Tuesday. And... Yeah. And that one is the newest Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Now I actually unboxed this on Tuesday when that all happened, honestly, like that, and, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say about Resident Evil 7, but I've got to say, it is so good, like, I've only played an hour and a half of playing this game, I missed yesterday, I was doing a lot, doing a lot of stuff, so I didn't have much time going on my Xbox, so literally, I just didn't have time playing this, but, today, I played a bit of it, yesterday, on Tuesday, I played, but I probably played, like, an hour's worth, and yeah, but today I played half an hour, so I was doing a lot of stuff again. And I have to say, 
This is goes but this goes back to the original Resident Evil roots. And you know what? It's just so good. First of all, it's in the first person prospectus. Not the like Resident Evil 4, 5, 6, like third person. It goes into first person and I'm I was a little bit surprised of how so I, I was surprised of how good it was when I started playing it. And I have to say, if you're a massive fan of your horrors, Resident Evil 7 is definitely for you because during that split that you know beginning play session, I got jump scared more times than anything can handle. Like it's not a spoiler, I can say, it's when you get into the baker's house, like, you know, when you're at the, at the, at the meal bit. When you're hunt, when, uh, I think this guy was, I think one of the baker's, you know, family trying to chase you down. I was like, I got away. Straight forward. Building collapsed. And literally jumped the scare, it scared the shit out of me. It literally, I was like, Jesus Christ! I was like, I had to run away, run away. Even that, the gun mechanics are fantastic, you know. The resources, oh my god, I have to say that, you know, you have to hoard your ammo completely from start to finish, because if you waste your ammo, that's it, you have to find some more. But at the moment, this is actually the first hour and a half, I've still got a lot to get through with Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil 7, and I might go back into this, and I might get the season pass, I don't really do season passes, but there's some more... DLC with Resident Evil 7, which I'm planning to get hopefully in the next couple of weeks. But at the moment, I will say if you're a massive fan of your heart, get this game. It is gonna definitely get worth it. It's gonna it's it's really good. I can't I can't explain anything else. But I want to review this game once I finish it and hopefully, fingers crossed, finish it by hopefully by the next couple of weeks because I like to do that. So yeah, that's it guys. The other two Resident Evil games we want to talk about, Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 7. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much guys for watching this. Please like, comment and subscribe for more content. All of my social media links are in the description down below. Any comments, any feedback, you guys know what to do. Thank you so much for watching this, hopefully. I'll see you guys next time. So there peeps, bye bye.